Let me ask you about Strawberry Tomorrow Eyes. <laughs> so it looks like GitHub um, Copilot might be integrating O1 in some kind of way. And I think some of the comments are saying, does this mean cursor is done? <laughs> I think I saw one comment saying that. I saw time to shut down cursor. <laughs> time to shut down cursor. Thank you. <laughs> so is it time to shut down cursor? I think this space is a little bit different from past software spaces over the, the 2010s, um, where I think that the ceiling here is really, really, really incredibly high. And so I think that the best product in three to four years will just be so much more useful than the best product today. And you can like wax poetic about moats this and brand that, and you know this is our uh, advantage. But I think in the end, just if you don't have, like if you stop innovating on the product, you will, you will lose. And that's also great for startups. Um, that's great for people trying to, to enter this market um, because it means you have an opportunity um, to win against people who have you know, lots of users already by just building something better. Um, and so I think, yeah, over the next few years, it's just about building the best product, building the best system, and that both comes down to the modeling engine side of things, and it also comes down to the to the editing experience. Yeah, I think most of the additional value from Cursor versus everything else out there is not just integrating the new model fast like a one. It comes from all of the kind of depth that goes into these custom models that you don't realize are working for you in kind of every facet of the product, as well as like the really uh, thoughtful UX with every single feature. 